Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about something um, really, really impacted my life a lot. I made fishing videos and videos on how to get silver and or whatever, and um, this is something that uh, that happened to me, which was unexpected for me. And my sister got murdered. Her ex-husband murdered her. He took a chainsaw. He cut her up. And he put her in acid. And this happened close to a year ago. And the grief I felt was intense. And we didn't know about it all right away. She was missing. She just was missing. And people, the community were, was, was coming out. And they were looking for her. And I was looking for her. And we were looking and trying to find her. And we... We, we did not know where she was and some people may have gone through a type of experience where they lost a loved one and there's seven boys in my family and there's one girl and she was the one girl her name was Trisha Todd her last name was Williams and you can google the story if you want Trisha Todd Williams type in nurse or something or Trisha Todd Hope Sound Trisha Todd Williams Hope Sound Trisha Todd nurse something like that in the google one you can look <clears throat> And the grief we felt was intense. And I just want you to know, if you're ever going through a hard time like what we did, there is a way to get peace and forgiveness. And <clears throat> I turned to God, and I started listening to the Bible. One day, it may have been around seven or eight hours. And I was, I was turning to God and the Bible. Um, I was learning, and, it's in, in, um, and I would pray to God for what I need, and I would thank Him for what He's done. And God gave me peace and God gave me forgiveness. And it was excruciating pain that we dealt with. And my brother-in-law, who, who did it, Stephen Williams, he's in prison right now in Florida. And he was in the Air Force, actually. <clears throat> but um, I just want to say, if you're going through something, you can turn to God and you can say, God, help. God, I need comfort. God, I need help. God, I need forgiveness. You know, sometimes people think, well, I'm not going to forgive them. They don't deserve to be forgiven. What he did was wrong. And they think <clears throat> that they can somehow hurt the other person by not forgiving. But guys, I want to tell you something. If you don't forgive someone, what happens is it's, drinking, it's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Because if you don't forgive someone, God won't forgive you. And it will actually hurt you if you don't forgive. And God has given me forgiveness. I talked to my brother-in-law on the phone. And I was actually able to say, to say this to him. I was able to say, I love you. Because I have God and God is love. And I just want to tell you, I don't know what you're dealing with. You're going through pain. But there is a God in heaven and he's bigger than the pain. And Jesus is bigger. And God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. And he made the move. And all we have to do is like a game of chess. He did his move and then we have to accept. We have to confess him with our mouth. And we have to accept what he did for us. And I can tell you. It is not human for me to be able to tell someone who murdered my sister and cut her up with a chainsaw and put her in acid that I love him except for the power of God in me. It is not human for me to have such good peace. And I'm not on Xanax. I'm not taking medication to, like for all this like stress like so many people in the world do. God has given me supernatural peace and forgiveness. And he can do the same for you. Many times people's marriages fall apart. They lose loved ones. And I'm just going to tell you right now, God has power. And if you're dealing with something, cry out to God for help. Okay? Cry out to God and say, God, help me. Please help me. And thank him for what he's done. And God will be there for you. He was there for me. And he will be there for you. And yes, the grief I had was intense. And I went through a lot. And it has actually helped my relationship with God. And it has given me, like, I will be able to understand other people if they're going through a grieving, you know, a loved one. And <clears throat> my sister is in heaven right now. And I would encourage you, go ahead and go into Google and type in stories of, like, I went to heaven and back, or I went to hell and back, and, you know, different stories that people have when they died and they came back. And when you know that when people die and they go to heaven, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, there's, there's people that have had like, you know, they, some people may not even want to come back. And so she's with Jesus right now. 
And I would like to ask if you guys could pray for Stephen Williams, my brother-in-law, to become a Christian. That would be awesome. So, anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for watching my YouTube. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Put on your Facebook, comment, subscribe. Um, just know if you're going through something, God can and will help you. Just cry out to him. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye.